Hello, my name is Abigail and welcome back to Polyglot Progress. Today I'm just gonna hang out on my couch and chat to you guys a little bit. It's been a little while since we've made a video. I guess for you it's only really been about like two weeks or something like that, but it's been a little while for us because we already had a bunch of stuff pre-filmed. But now we're hoping to pre-film a bunch of other stuff and hopefully have quite a bit of videos up around the holidays right now. So recently I have been super busy, which has been part of the reason we haven't really had videos. It's been between school and the holidays and all that sort of thing. It's been a little bit difficult to get videos up, and I've also found myself kind of slacking in my language learning as well, and I think that the two are definitely tied. I feel like when polyglot progress is really on top of things, my language learning is pretty on top of things, and vice versa. Um, but obviously I've been kind of off of the boat for both of them. So I have kind of been reevaluating the way that I spend my dead time, where it is in my schedule and kind of better ways that I could use it. So today I thought instead of doing like a really like put together video at all, I would just kind of chill on my couch and talk to you guys about some of the ways that I've found that I have space in my day to learn languages and that sort of thing and just kind of share them with you. Some of them are ones that I'm going to start putting language learning in and others are going to be times I kind of keep to myself to have as a moment to relax. But either way I thought I'd show them so that way maybe you can apply them. But first, uh, today's video is sponsored by italki. If you're not familiar with italki, it's basically a website where you can have one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions with either professional or community tutors who are basically people who I maybe don't have a degree in language teaching, but are still language teachers. Personally, I'm an English teacher as a community tutor because I don't have a certification, but I do have teaching experience. I feel like Italki is the perfect sponsor for this because it's so convenient. Not only do you not have to spend time traveling to in-person classes, but Italki also has instant tutoring, which is basically something where you can request a tutor then and there instead of scheduling things in advance. And I will talk more about that later on, obviously, because it has to do with dead time. You can also use the app so you can take lessons from anywhere. And that's also important to me as a busy college student is that italki is pretty affordable. Um, obviously, buying textbooks and going to in-person classes and paying for transportation to those classes and that sort of thing can add up to be really expensive. And I find that especially resources that I'm using during my dead time, I love for them to be pretty affordable since I'm kind of just squeezing them in throughout my day and I don't really want to be unloading a fortune on those kinds of things. So I appreciate that italki is so affordable as well as being customizable and convenient and all of those other things. So if you're interested in using italki and you've never used it before, we do have a link down below and as soon as you buy your first lesson you will get $10 in italki credit for free, um, so that's a pretty good deal. I know when I originally signed up for italki, I signed up I think with a similar deal and got some free money, and it's obviously really helpful. That basically pays for a whole lesson or two if you're taking really cheap lessons. But going on to the actual topic of the video, which is dead time, and how I'm planning to kind of use that a little bit more. Dead time, according to the internet, because I just googled it to give you guys a nice accurate definition. Uh, this says that dead time is the time in which someone or something is inactive or unable to act productively. Basically kind of like wasted moments within your day. So since I've been having a hard time kind of keeping up with my language learning and stuff while also dealing with wrapping up the school semester and wanting to be posting to Polyglot Progress and being on a roller derby league and like all of these other things, I have started to think a little bit more about my dead time because I definitely feel like there is a lot of time in my day where I could be putting that towards better use, but I'm just not for either whatever reason. Maybe it's that I don't really want to. I kind of want that time to relax and I am going to keep some of these times open as time to just like let my brain not have to think for a little bit because mental health obviously is also something you should look into. But a lot of this time I think I could fill in with even just a little bit of language learning and it would end up helping me out a lot in the long run. So the first thing is doing dishes. I end up doing so many hours worth of dishes I feel like because uh, we don't have a dishwasher in this apartment. And if you think about how many dishes are made between even just two people, me and Matt, for three meals a day and then you've got everything that you use to cook those three meals as well um, plus any bowls or mugs or cups or things that could be used throughout the day for other things such as if I make myself a cup of tea or something that mug then has to be washed 
So I end up doing a lot of dishes, and recently one thing I've started doing is making use of this dead time by listening to audiobooks. And so far they've all been in English, but I definitely think dishes are a lot easier to do, I guess, when I have something else to kind of do with my brain, because I hate doing dishes so much. Possibly maybe the next audiobook I listen to will be in a different language. I've had a harder time finding reasonably priced audiobooks that aren't in English, but um, I'm going to work more on that one. Um, also podcasts and maybe trying to watch like an episode of a TV show in another language are also things that I want to give a shot. Number two is brushing my teeth. And this is a very weird one because I don't think most people count this as dead time they have. Like people just let themselves brush their teeth. <laughs> but I've also tried in the past going and doing flashcards or some sort of language activity while I brush my teeth. So I think uh, bringing that back into my schedule would be nice. As of currently, I kind of do language related stuff right before I go to bed. So maybe just pushing it to be kind of while I'm brushing my teeth would at least help me kind of get it done before I'm in bed and wanting to go to sleep. So my brain will be a little bit more awake. Number three is cooking. This is one piece of dead time that I may just leave dead time because I kind of like just kind of cooking and having that be a time that I can like let my brain not have to think about other things for a little bit. Definitely is something I need to try out first because I haven't really done that one as much. Um, and I'm not sure how much I'll really end up liking it, but I definitely at least want to give it a shot. I want to try as many of these out as I can and kind of see what works best for me basically because I feel like I need to be optimizing at least some of this time. Number four is just waiting for things in general because I feel like a lot of the time I'll get somewhere maybe early or people are running late. Typically I'll end up just kind of scrolling around on my phone and I feel like instead of scrolling around on my phone that is five to ten minutes that I could be putting into doing flashcards or any form of language thing, even just opening up my notes app and typing um, in another language for like five to ten minutes is so much more productive than what I've been doing. Um, again, not enough time to really have like a full language lesson or listen to a full podcast or audiobook or something. But I think just getting a little bit in would give me at least something to do while I wait and also would be far more productive. So I definitely want to make sure I do that one at the very least. I don't know how many of you guys have this as well because a lot of it could just be like weird college student kind of scheduling. But I'll often have this weird span of time where it's like maybe let's say an hour. And so it's too little time for me to really kind of get invested in much. But it's also too long for me to maybe go to my next class or go to whatever meeting I need to go to or whatever. So I'm kind of left with this span of time where again I'll kind of end up like scrolling through Facebook or just kind of doing things that really aren't that productive. So something I realized recently is I really really want to start using that time to take instant lessons on italki and this is what I was talking about before because you can literally just find a tutor who is available at that time and take a lesson then and there. If I have 40 minutes or more, I want to take a 30 minute long lesson in that time because that still gives me enough time to pack up and go when I need to, but I can get literally a whole 30 minute language lesson in and whenever I have 30 minutes of spare time I end up just kind of like sitting around and doing nothing because it doesn't seem like enough time, but I can take a full language class. So that's something that I definitely also really want to do. I think that one and the waiting for classes are like my number two things that I need to change. Number six is when people cancel on things. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when people cancel class or cancel a meeting or whatever, I'm like, oh sweet, I have all this time to do things. And then somehow I end up wasting all that time, so I have the same amount of time I was going to have in the day to get things done. So I kind of want to set myself a rule of like next time like something I'm planning to do gets cancelled. Um, instead of like just sitting around, if something gets cancelled I immediately need to go like buy an italki lesson and take a language lesson. With the exception of if I genuinely do have a ton of work and will make sure that I get that work done then and there because extra time obviously is nice and will save myself some stress later on. But um, I feel like that's just a really good time and I think that's a really good time for other people to consider too um, for time to take language lessons because I think so many of us are so stressed about packing them in that if we just do them whenever and other things get cancelled we'll end up taking away more lessons than we would otherwise. My seventh one is doing laundry. Um, I think this is the first time that I ever used dead time unintentionally too but as a kid 
I realized that while folding laundry, that was like the prime time to watch um, YouTube videos or like Netflix. Um, and so that's something that stuck with me. But I now want to try to adapt that to work with my language learning a little bit more. Um, because I feel like as of recently, I've kind of not really known what to kind of put on while I do laundry. So I either don't do anything or if Matt and I have been watching something and he's helping me fold laundry, we'll, we'll watch something together. So I kind of want to figure out a show, I guess maybe just one show for now in one of the languages, and kind of set myself to watch that whenever I fold laundry. Um, depending on the language, so therefore what level I'm at in that language, um, I might have subtitles in that language or I might watch it without subtitles. It'll really depend on what I'm watching and what language it is. But I do want to try to work my way through a series just kind of while I'm doing laundry. So even if that's only like 20 minutes of the series once a week or something like that, again, that's 20 more minutes of like absorbing content from that language than I would get otherwise. And then the eighth one, which is one that I'm a little bit more hesitant about, but I'm throwing in there. Um, is while eating. I know technically there have been like scientific studies that say like you're not supposed to like watch TV while you eat um, and like all these other things because it basically like takes away from your body's ability to know when you're full etc etc. But I'm not gonna lie sometimes I watch YouTube videos and stuff while I eat dinner. I do it so I feel like I might as well make that time a little bit productive. I think where I kind of want to switch is if I notice myself already like on my phone or on my computer, whatever, while I'm eating, I just want to make sure that that time is being used productively for language learning. If I'm sitting and talking with people, I'm not going to be like, sorry guys, I have to do some flashcards on my phone. But if I'm already like mindlessly scrolling through Instagram while I eat breakfast, I might as well replace that with doing something language related. Number nine is while at the gym. I've been going to the gym a little bit less Obviously now that I've got roller derby, so I'm spending some of my kind of exercising time at practice But while at the regular gym, I really do like to get some language learning done But I feel like the past few times that I've gone I have just listened to music and I haven't done anything else And I think it's been because I've been so stressed that I've been wanting to use that time to just kind of like not think about things Which again, like I've said before is fine, but now that I've got roller derby as a time to spend three hours not focused on anything um, other than skating around and doing the drills and all of that sort of thing, I really want to spend the time I do spend at the gym doing language learning stuff. And then my final one that I have is while showering, which is a weird piece of dead time that I feel like no one really mentions, but a uh, prime time to do some language learning. I sometimes listen to music in the shower, sometimes do nothing. But something that I want to try to do is to put on like a podcast or audiobook in another language and just give myself that kind of time to really focus my listening skills. I really won't be able to kind of like read along or anything like that. I'm really going to have to just focus on listening because I'm in the shower. Um, so I definitely want to give that a shot and see how that kind of works. But I definitely say my top three are going to be waiting for things to start, especially in my classes. That kind of weird like chunk of time I'll have at home where it's like 40 minutes to an hour or whatever, sliding a nice italki lesson in there um, with an instant tutor. And then also while I'm doing laundry, making sure that I'm watching um, the same series that I have started a little bit ago. So if you guys are interested, I can maybe do an update video on this in a little while. So if you guys have any um, times during your day that you like to squeeze language learning in, let me know. If you're interested in more videos on things kind of like this, on finding time for language learning, or in this case, making time for language learning, Matt made a video a little bit ago called, say it one more time, on time and task management. On time and task management. And I will update you guys, I guess, in a few weeks. We've got a ton of videos planned, so I don't know if I'll be able to make one in a few weeks. But at some point, um, maybe even just within a podcast, I'll let you know kind of how this has been going. I hope you enjoyed this kind of nice little couch chat. Let me know if you'd like just more little check-ins like this where we just kind of hang out on my couch. I'll see you soon. Uh, thank you for italki for sponsoring this video. And remember... Practice makes join me, Matt. You practice. Pra practice makes, makes progress. progress.